that'll do. It's quite good actually that. I'll go rinse this off in the house. Hello Puska. This is what I'm doing here. There's a door to go in here. Bit of glass at the top. And that's going to be one piece of glass. Handrails coming out and spindles. And then there's going to be a little mop rail handrail on here. I need to Put a piece of timber in here to make the top of the frame. Put a piece down there to widen the frame. Want to give it the bottom. Piece across the top here. Leg down and a header where the top of the door goes. Top of the doors there. So a piece across there. And this wall. I thought it'd be a breeze block wall, but don't know what that is. So take this architrave off, take the switch off, the switch is gonna have to move over. And hopefully there I'll be able to see see what's going on behind there. I'm hoping there's a timber there. Thought it'd be a breeze block wall, but I'm hoping it's a stud wall. That means I can get a timber in there. These pieces across the top. Once I get this leg in, I can tie it into this post and into that head. Same there, into the newel there, into this post. I want to avoid getting involved with this ceiling. Plastering that like, as soon as I can't start cutting into it. I could create all sorts of chaos. I cut some of this so when I get a piece on top of here I can replicate that and I haven't decided that one goes to the floor this leg that I put in here I think I'm going to see if I can continue it down and I've only got this little space to work in to keep that shut So I'll be fixing my door here, hanging, planing. It's going to be fun. Sort of looking forward to this one though. That's the door that's going upstairs. It's hung on the wrong side. But she says she's not bothered if I just patch them up. And of course the lock's in the wrong side as well. Same again. It's just going to be patched up. It'll be pine, white wood in there. See if it fits. It's been stood stood right actually. I've had a look at it already, it's fairly straight. At least it's not stood leaning like that. Right, no box. I was hoping there'd be enough wire just to move that over a little bit. Right, that came off okay. Looks like I've got a timber there to play with. I'm putting this on the front of here. I'm putting that on the front of there. And you see how this one sticks out. This is 75, this is 70 mil. But that is 70 mil. So these that go across the top, this is gonna, you know, be slightly proud. You see the decorated line there. I've got 20 mil overhang there. So I reckon if I put that up to the paint line there, 70 mil should give me a 20 mil nosing off there. That's the plan. So 
what I'll do is just carefully, I don't need to do it here, but just carefully everywhere where I'm going to get a fix in, I'm going to put one into the door frame here. And every so often I'll cut out a little bit so that I can get a little packer. I don't want to be screwing to plasterboard. Not plaster, whatever it is. I don't think. Might do. Might think bucket. Just screw it on the face. There's a joint there, I don't know if that's this joint or the paper. But I need to cut that off. I'll get a noisy saw on that. But then when I screw this one on, we don't know where that wire goes. Mm. So I'm going to dig some holes. Carefully dig into it with a screwdriver. So this plaster sticks out in front of this, so I'm very carefully just Easing my way up, expose that wire, I'll take that off and I can pack this timber out wherever I need to. So I've exposed that wire all the way up so now I'll get noisy saw on and I can cleanly cut the either side of that without knocking the plaster off here, loosening it. Right, I've managed to pull out just a little bit more wire, I've checked the switch, it works still. But here's the timber I was chasing. So I reckon if I clip those to one side, dodgy dodgy I know. Really these wires should be re-hung back in this wall. But. They won't be getting an electrician in, so if I clip them back in there and I carefully put that around there, try not to screw into the fucker, I reckon I've got enough to move that over. It should be able to move it over a bit. Don't need to be much. Right, and down here, my timber's going to be coming down like that. So I need to cut some of this away. That doesn't matter. That's just holding the front of the riser in. You know, there'll be a groove there with timber continuing behind. But when I put mine in, it'll be doing the same as this. It'll be running down there, Oop, that way like that. Just have to notch my timber out to go over the nose in there. Might just cut the nosing out. Then all I've got to do is put a square cut in this. So I've just taken the top off. There's no way to set a tripod up here. But I'm just cutting behind it. Need to get down this front. So those pieces came off the front of there. I've got to cut this out. That pencil line there is my door, 680. And this timber's going on like that. You can see it's four or five mil in front of that line. That's good because that door's been fitted to a different house. So when I put this door in, I'd want to be able to, you know, plane a little bit off anyway to get it to fit. And I know this timber's bowed. That's coming out, so I don't know what's going to happen to that. It might even move a bit more, or it might come this way. Who knows? But anyway, I'll cut this back, back to the nose in here, and cut it off across there. So I've got those, that, I'll sit down there like that, I just need to notch, notch me or the one that's going to go down there, get some fixings in here, 
make sure that's held well. And I bought this noisy saw, see the extension won't long enough, but I bought this because I just needed one. Normally I'd buy mm, professional tools, that's a but I needed one that day and home base was open. It's doing all right actually. I don't mind experimenting sometimes with cheaper tools. It surprises you sometimes. Right, get a notch on that and I can sit it in and see what's going on up there. How much I need to pack out and where that wire is going to go. Oh. I was tempted to just disconnect it and see if I could fish it down inside here but I've got fish rods but I haven't got them with me and there'll be a header in here um, that might go straight across who knows which means I won't be able to fish through so nope Right, see the shape of that. I'm going to describe this to that. So, I'm not cutting the little piece of carpet out. I think I'm just creating work for myself there. I've got that. And that. Same distance. Just over 50mm. Just over 50mm. So, some subscribers to that. Just give it a little bit. And run that up there. I'll level that across, I'll run that through, cut that off. So, something like that. Just need to sort these fucking wires out. I'm going to have to pack this behind there. It'll go back a bit at the top there. Right, I've put some packers on here, onto that timber stud that's going up there. Clip this wire in. I'm only going to be putting a fix in there. And there, so I just have to be really careful. And then this is surprisingly plumb that way, so I was just be able to, so I was just able to plumb up, put some packers up there. It's a pointless putting packers to the left because there's nothing there. Timber's only on this side. So now give it a tidy up and get that fixed in. I've just put a couple of screws down there. That's in. And just out of curiosity, I thought you'd normally line the two legs up to see if they're twisted or not. And don't know if you'll be able to see, but surprisingly good actually. So I'll fix that as it is. Right, so 70 mil into there, 100 mil screws, 4 inch screws into there. It's not going anywhere. Like I say, just a couple up there. Now we've got to put some timbers across the top. And here, I'll come up the stairs a bit. And here, there'll be a timber and another timber. I don't really want to get involved with all this. It's a bit dodgy. So I think what I'm just going to do is pocket all a timber across there. That's better. So there's a timber going across there, there'll be one going across there. It might go that way and stop there, or it might run through, and that one just a little one. Don't matter. I don't really want to start breaking into this. 
it's a bit dodgy. So I think I'm just going to pocket all a screw in there, a timber in there. Same on the top of the head there. So pretty much exactly the same as what I did with the worktops. I've cut this timber oversize. This is twisted and that isn't exactly straight. So what I did was one cut there. I'll measure that distance, mark it on my timber, put this timber that way around, making sure it's lined up correctly, and scribe that in, cut it to that line. So like that you see. If I cut that to that line, it'll just be a straight line. If I cut that to that line, that should just drop in there. I have to give it a tap. Right, so something like that. Give them a sand, fill them, be beading, there'll be a stop bead on this side. That side can get filled. And I nearly forgot about that dodgy wire up there. But I think I'm safe. Just. Need to drive that one in a bit. I might just give it a smack with hammer. Right, handrail came out. Just bang that out. I'll just clean some of the snot out up there. I'll get another one in there. And then as I expected, I'll probably have to fill or cork or something around the top here. Maybe put a bead on. We'll see. that one. So, cut it a fraction long so I can always take a little bit more off. I'll just snot down there. It's near enough. So I'll just take a fraction more off there. Right, so looks slightly out but when I pull it when it gets screwed it'll get pulled in Got some screws along this front edge now I'm gonna have to put a bead along this bottom edge here be okay I've got this to go on the outside yeah just fits I uh, just had to chisel a bit of paint out of the corners there. That's why my chisels aren't as pretty as some people's on the internet. But that's going to go in there. That's going to go in there. Doesn't sit back as far as I'd like. So either plane a bit of this off. Or I'm going to be plane it on the back of this. We'll see. Hang on my ping gun to put that on right now. I'm going to tidy up. I'm going to stand the door in place. Then I can get the header on. The header's just going to be inch and a half stuff. And once that's on, I can think about beading around. Then I can get templates made for the glass. That can be getting cut while I'm hanging the door. I uh, just thought I'd better stand the door in place, see how I'm doing before I get carried away. And I already know that this has been cut in here. So when I stand that up, there's a gap there. I don't really want to pack my timber out, because it'll look odd there. So I think I'm going to go with that. But I knew that this timber had a big bow in it as well. Mm. Let me see if I push that over. Hard up there. Gap in the middle. 
a fairly generous size gap there, eight mil. So I think when I put a bit of bit of a gap there for the hinges, that'd be nice there. That'll close that up a bit. The bottom will kick over a little bit. It'll just have a decent gap down there. These sort of doors always have a bit of a bit of character, so I'm not too worried. We'll see. Can't move that. Don't really want to pack that out. Warm up here. So I've just planed the bit off the back of this. So now it sits behind there a bit better. I'll glue and pin that on. Toasty again. Keep it going. When I stood the door in place, I marked the top of it. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. I'll screw it in place, stamp the door in again, see what it looks like. This door's made of rubber or something. Wobbly wobbly. That'll do. Get another one cutting down there. Right, I've just hung the door on temporarily. Still got to play in it to fit it. It'll take a little bit off the bottom. But that'll do me for the moment. Because what I want to do is get beading around here. So I can make templates for the glass. Uh, I'm going to bead it on the outside, glue and pin it on the outside. Because I reckon when I come up put this piece of glass in, 
it'll be easier for me to put the piece in from this side and get the bead on rather than there where it's quite tall. Same here, I can stand on the steps here look. You see the condition of the paintwork. I'm not gonna worry too much about my mitres. Bit of filler. Get them close but if there's a gap I won't worry. <laughs> 